We come to Group C, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Big up to Switzerland for going unbeaten in the group, drawing twice to Italy and uh, not losing a single game, pipping the Italians to the direct spot in the group. Eight matches played, 5-1, three draws, 15 goals scored, and only two goals conceded. Jan Sommer, you beauty. Their defenders, even with Nico Elvedi out, they were able to get a draw against Italy and destroy Bulgaria completely. 4-0 win in a crunch match. That is what you call coming up clutch when it's necessary. And Nati, you did it. Murat, Yakin, big up to you. New manager, and he took charge of the team, and he's taking them directly to another World Cup. Let's see if Switzerland could actually make waves or, you know, whether they ride a wave. So, look, 18 points. This is very, very, very impressive. Very impressive. Those two draws against Italy, especially getting a 1-1 one -one draw on the road, impressive, to say the least. And uh, they deserve it, man. They deserve it. Let's just do a recap of their journey, man. Let's just see what their journey was like to... Qatar 3-1 against Bulgaria in their opening match 1-0 against Lithuania in their second game then they drew 0-0 to Italy 0-0 against the Northern Ireland 2-0 against Northern Ireland 4-0 against Lithuania 1-1 against Italy and a big 4-0 win against Bulgaria to send them into Qatar brilliant brilliant stuff man brilliant stuff and just to click on this game to give you guys the info, Noah Akafor in the 48 minute after Switzerland had threatened on quite a few occasions. They even hit the post to Shakiri. Akafor came close on a few occasions as well. And they got their well deserved goal in the 48 minute. Listen, Ruben Vargas, you beauty in the 57 minute. Itten came off the bench to head one in. There was a few disallowed goals as well. So it could well have been 6-0 if the runs would have been timed a little bit better. And Remo Freuler put the final nail into Bulgaria's coffin in the 91st minute to send Sweden into World Cup jubilation. So congratulations to the Swedes, Murat Yakin and his entire team. And you could see Shakiri right there. The man is happy. The man is thrilled. And uh, listen, he couldn't have wished for anything more. Remember, Shakiri was at the 2014 World Cup where he scored a hat trick. And uh, Swede Switzerland performed well in 2018 as well. And they're back for 2022. You know, so they mean business, man. They mean business and no letting up there. No letting up uh, even with Italy in the group. Look. To talk about Italy, man, to talk about Italy, you got to be fucking kidding me, Italy. Pardon my language, but don't pardon my language. You got to be kidding me because you coming into this tournament as European champions. You just went on a crazy unbeaten streak, world record unbeaten streak, and then you're still unbeaten. They're still unbeaten, though. They're still unbeaten after the loss in the in the, in the the UEFA Nations League, right? But it's still unbeaten in World Cup qualifiers, but it's not enough. 16 points is not enough to qualify directly, bro. Not in this group. Maybe in another group, not this one. Not this one. Disappointing performances, those draws. And not, let's say, the draws against Switzerland because those are fine, respect to Switzerland, but the other draws in the game especially the one to date against the the Northern Ireland in Belfast. That draw should have never happened. They should have won the game, and they should have done it by a good enough margin that would have taken them directly to Qatar. Now, they're going into a condition called PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. It's something that you experience when you, you, you know, you, 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 you go through a tragic moment like the 2018 World Cup qualifiers against Sweden where Pierre um, Ventura 
at the helm of the Italian team missed the World Cup, right? You don't want to go into that territory, but they're going into that territory even as European champs. We did not expect them to win the Euros, but they went and they did perfectly well at the Euros. And we thought, okay, you won the Euros, you're going to cruise. I know there were World Cup qualifying games before the Euros, but still, we thought that they were going to cruise this group. Yeah, they're cruising into the playoffs, pretty much. Italy 2, Northern Ireland, nil. Italy 2, Bulgaria, nil. Italy 2, Lithuania, nil. Great start, great start. But then the 1-1 draw against Bulgaria, and then the nil-nil draw against Switzerland, and then... They did beat Lithuania 5 0 as expected, but in the crunch game against Switzerland, you go on and draw the game. And then you draw again. You see what I'm saying? You deserve nothing more than a playoff spot. It is going to be fun. It is going to be interesting. It'll be crazy if Italy has to play against Portugal in one of those final paths. It is going to be crazy. Marquee affair, two gigantic teams. I don't know if you wait for it's gonna rig the draw and <laughs> you know <laughs> let them avoid each other, but it might they might end up playing against each other, man. Just just remember I told you so. They might end up playing against each other, so look out for that one. Look out for that one. But disappointed in the Italian effort and Mancini bro, your tactics good, but just a bit too pragmatic, man. You see what I mean? Not enough risk taken. Jorginho. Let's blame Jorginho. Let's blame Jorginho. Let us blame Jorginho. Because if Jorginho had scored that goal against Switzerland, Italy would be going to Qatar directly. They could still go to Qatar. Let's blame Jorginho, man. Let's blame the Chelsea Ballon d'Or candidate. And shout out to all the Chelsea fans anyways. You guys must be nuts talking about Jorginho for Ballon d'Or. That's not a Ballon d'Or performance there. Not at all. You're missing penalties left, right and center after you used to take them perfectly. You'll figure it out. Come up with a new freaking, you know, trick. The hop skip thing don't work anymore. Your players have to take accountability here. Injuries also hampered Italy, Ferrati, Chiellini, but that's no excuse. You got to step up. When the opportunity presents itself, you got to step up. Definitely got to step up. And uh, Italy is poor. They could miss the World Cup again. Italy could miss the World Cup again. It'll not be great for world football, but Italy could miss the World Cup again. Former champions. 2006 champions could miss the World Cup again. It could happen. It just might happen. Best believe one, at least one heavyweight team from Europe will miss out. At least one. And it could be Italy. Could be Italy. No goals to talk about from the game. But well played, Northern Ireland. You did great. I got to say you did great. You did great. Donnarumma running out of the goal like a wild man. Almost conceded as well. Northern Ireland almost won the game. Big save made by Donnarumma as well from point blank range. Northern, I, I repeat, Northern Ireland almost won the game. They almost won the game. Let us move on.